The death of teacher Jill Grant still very much on the minds of all who knew her, her family and friends and former students. It has now been over three years since she was murdered. That was her memorial service in January of 2014 at Palm Desert High School where she taught math. And today we are learning gruesome details about how that beloved teacher was killed as opening statements began in court, no cameras allowed in court today, but Kitty Alvarado was there, and she spoke with the teacher's brother. Kitty. Well, after three years of delays, the trial of Michael John Franco has begun. Franco is accused of killing 41-year-old Jill Thomas Grant, a popular math teacher at Palm Desert High School. Her brother says regardless of the outcome, there are some members of his family who will never see justice. We're just glad to see this finally getting started. It's been three years since 41-year-old Jill Thomas Grant was murdered, but the trial of her accused killer, then live-in boyfriend, 46-year-old Michael John Franco, finally got underway. Grant's brother says waiting for this day has been tough. Gave us hope, only to find out that no, it was indeed going to be continued again and again and again. So that process has been very frustrating. In opening statements, the prosecution told jurors Franco murdered the Palm Desert High School teacher by cutting her throat and then plowed her over with her own car. Golf course employees who heard her desperate screams and discovered her body took the stand. And Thomas also testified. For the first time, he was shown a crime scene picture, a close-up of his sister's face, swollen, bloodied, and bruised. Friends in the courtroom caught a glimpse and gasped. Thomas stayed strong. Emotionally, I'm just here for my sister, and so uh, that gives me the strength I need to be able to sit up there and do what I need to do. Thomas says regardless of the outcome, some in his family may never see justice. My father died during this period of time. My mother was checked into the hospital yesterday morning. My parents may not see justice for my sister because of these delays. So justice was certainly denied to my parents. And Franco pleaded not guilty to charges that include murder, kidnapping, and torture. But his attorney asked the jury he only be convicted of manslaughter, saying that Franco recalls nothing because he was in a drug-fueled psychosis. If convicted, he can face life in prison. And Tom, uh, Jill Thomas's, Thomas also noted that today is Pi Day, and it was very fitting that the trial start today because she was a math teacher. Janet? Yes, she was a beloved math teacher. Thank you for that, Kitty.